Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitwig Studio and Music Production. This is lesson 3.09 and in this lesson we're going to take a really quick look at the inspector panel on the clip launcher screen. So in case you're not familiar, you don't remember, we can access the clip launcher from down here in the bottom left. I'm just going to click show clip launcher and for our purposes I'll turn off the arrangement timeline. So what we have here are just a bunch of loops I've pulled in. Okay, so nothing really all that exciting, just some of those stock loops from that uh, Beatport pack from before. Where this gets interesting and where it's going to get really interesting for us in a few lessons is when we open up the inspector here and I click on one of these clips, we suddenly have these next actions. So this is something we haven't seen before. As well as we have the launch quantization and the quantize to loop, which we already talked about in a previous video, but now we're going to talk about these next actions. And these are very interesting because this is like a very basic introduction to algorithmic composition, meaning that we're going to let the computer make some of the choices. And you're scratching your head saying, why would I ever do this? And in the practical context, there are times when you would do this. For example, if you want to focus specifically on manipulating effects and doing some crazy stuff live with whatever it is you've made, you probably don't want to worry all the time about having to launch clips. And so what you could do is you could set a drum loop or something to play four times or however long you want to play to play for like 16 bars before going on and playing the next clip. So I'll just do that just to show you. We'll have it play eight bars and then it will go on and it will automatically trigger the next clip. So and then after that, we'll have this one play four and then we'll just have it stop. So let's just take a listen to that real quick. So we'll go around one more time, and after that it should play the next clip. And as you could tell, I didn't click anything. My hands were off the computer. So Bitwig has this little built-in algorithms for us that are going to help us cue things back and play them. Um, either so that our hands can be free to do other things instead of worrying about the clip launcher, or in the case of someone like me, I like the idea of putting in tons and tons of different samples and then seeing how the computer is going to spit those back out. Um, so this is really kind of a way to do a little bit of algorithmic composition without having to write your own program in something like Super Collider or in Max MSP. So um, it's very cool and you can come up with some really interesting results out of it. So just to show you what I would probably do, and like I said before, we're gonna take this much further. I'm gonna select all of these clips for right now. And on my next action, I'm just gonna select all of them to play random. We'll talk about these other options later. And I'll set all of it to be after four bars. So you need to make sure that you do have a time value selected. So it can either be, you know, one bar, two bar. It doesn't really matter. Actually, let's just do three for fun. We'll do, uh, we'll do four bars for the top. And we'll do three bars for the bottom. And as you can tell, if I highlight and select, I can change multiple clips at one time. So you can see how it's uh, done that for me, or at least thought it was going to do it for me. There we go. So now if I play back just two of these clips, and I could actually just start on scene one, we're going to get a bunch of different random variations here. And if we want to record this out to our um, arrangement view, I'm just going to click the record button here. Let's get these both open at the same time. I no longer need the inspector, and I'm just going to click play, and let's see if we get the results we want. And I could even go in and change some of these live on the fly if I wanted to. I set that one to one.
If I hold Command, I can just select particular ones. And I'm going to choose Play Next for all those. So that was our little composition we just made there, and we did that really quick. And the truth is, even if somebody else has all of these samples, and I'm just going to click back to arrangement, chances are they wouldn't come up with what we just came up with right there. It would be shocking. Not only would your brain probably never want to make some of those comp combinations, but also if you were just pulling out and dragging and dropping, it would take forever. So if we listen back from a point, we can hear what we have going on. And I also did a little bit of automation as well which we'll be able to track and follow on here when it happens. There we go. Now we can see the automation piece I've made. All right, so I just wanted to show that to you. We're gonna get more in depth in that in just a couple of videos. But for now, I want to show you one last aspect of the inspector panel when you're inside of the clip launcher view. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will catch you again in the next lesson.